What is up, weather enthusiasts? I'm your host, Pat's Path Predictor. Let's get right into the weather. All right, so here's the situation we have for you, ladies and gentlemen. More information and more models come have come out that are absolutely jaw-dropping. So here's our situation we have right here. This is our new area of interest that is coming off the co uh, coast of Africa. Already, I will say, before we even get into the data, this, this, this tropical wave already looks incredibly strong, incredibly intense, and its cloud tops are already minus 80 as it's getting off the coast of Africa. Typically, you do not see stuff like this, so seeing it this early on is absolutely crazy and we'll have to continue to update you on this because a lot of more model runs have come in and they are absolutely showing shocking values before we get into what the NH uh, the, into those though we'll go ahead and show you what the nhc is saying this has now been tagged as a low pressure system by the national hurricane center still a 50 percent chance of formation in the next uh, fi seven days however those chances are expected to increase and here's why there are extremely great conditions for development as soon as this thing exits the, the coast of Africa and enters the eastern main development region. We have insanely warm waters, we have weaker wind shear, and we have not. Uh, this thing is, is in a very moist pocket, a moisture pocket, and we'll have to pay attention to all of those. But now let's go ahead and get into the models. Recently, I got a screenshot from my guy Weather Center Nazario, and he showed me the latest from the 12Z European model. And this is what he showed. Basically, this is 240 hours out, just for context. And it is already calling for a 925 millibar hurricane in the Atlantic Basin. For those of you who do not know how strong a 925 millibar system is, that's either a high-end Category 4 or low-end Category 5 hurricane. Now, keep in mind... We're not sure it's going to play out like that. There's still a ton of uncertainty, so please take this with a grain of salt. However, I've been looking through this, and the conditions do are favorable for such development, but I do not think it's going to be that much at this time. In fact, there's too much uncertainty. I wanted to go ahead and show you this to kind of kick off what I'm looking at. So we'll go ahead and pull up the European model right here, the whole thing actually. Although I will say the one on tropical tidbits does not get up to down to 925 millibars. That was is on weathermodels.com. Unfortunately, I do not have a, don't have a subscription, so I don't have access to that. But so this is the closest thing we're going to get. So here's what we have. This thing is coming off the coast of Africa. And it's already starting to organize and develop right here. I'd say by the in the next 72 hours, according to the European, we already have a low pressure system of established low pressure system on it. And in the next couple of days after that, it's going to organize and fully close out its center. I'd say by that by four days out, and then things start to get really intense as time continues to go on. We start to see gradual and then rapid intensification starting about five days out. Five days out, we're about a 999 millibar tropical storm. In the next four, 24 hours, let me show you how strong this uh, this gets. Gets down to a 993 millibar system as time continues to go on and as this thing approaches the Caribbean. That's already a Category 1 hurricane or a strong tropical storm in some cases. Let's go ahead and go another 24 hours out. 985 millibar system, mid-range Category 1. Another 24 hours after that, we're, about, uh, we're at not down to 973. So that's Category 2 strength. And then we're going to start seeing a bit of fluctuation as time continues to go on. But by 216 hours out, we're down to a 949 millibar system. Here's where we were before, 973, 949. So rapid intensification starts around there, according to the European. Gets down to 939, then the pressure starts to fluctuate quite a bit. Eventually gets down to 942 on tropical tidbits. So that's our situation we have right here. And I'm taking this very seriously because of just how much good the conditions are for development and the fact that this isn't the only model that is calling for this kind of strength. Here's what else we have. We have the Icon model that's been recently coming out with a lot of values. So the Icon has this thing organizing and developing and actually strengthening into a major hurricane as it's approaching right here. We're down to 968 millibars right here, which is around Category 2 
maybe Category 3 strength as it's approaching the Leeward Islands from the Icon. The CMC is also going uh, off on a limb for this. And a lot of these models are pushing further and further to the west than compared to the Zero Z. They're expecting the Azores or Bermuda High to strengthen as this system starts organizing and developing. So that And that's the big reason why I'm taking it seriously. Because if that happens and the, the system doesn't push out to the north... That means the Antilles are in its path. That means the Bahamas are in its path. The, the Hispaniola, Puerto Rico, maybe even the east coast of the United States. We're not 100% sure on that yet. So please do keep that in mind. But we need to keep uh, need to keep a very close eye on this nevertheless. CMC gets this down to a 976 millibar system, about, uh, kind of uh, just north of Puerto Rico right here on approach to the Bahamas. And since this uh, high-pressure system does strengthen... And we're not sure how long the turn is. Everyone from, I'd say, North Carolina to the Antilles needs to pay very close attention to this. And we'll keep you updated here on the Pat's Path Predictor channel. We've already talked about the conditions of what's working for and against it. We've talked about the global sea temperatures. Obviously, we've, we, we talk about these verbatim. We talk about the OHC. Plenty of OHC, especially as it moves into the western main development region. We've talked about the wind shear. Very, very good wind shear for this right now, especially in the MDR and Caribbean Sea if it pushes that far south. So these are all scenarios we need to keep an eye on, and we'll show you the shear and the moisture forecast brought to you by the latest European of the 12Z. So here's what we got. We'll show you the shear forecast first and then the moisture component. Here's the shear forecast. Shear is expected to weaken in the next 48 hours here in the main development region where the system comes off, and then it's open season by the time it gets out of that shear. More inflow starts kicking in, and by about five days out, we're already at a strong tropical storm, showing you the moisture component. There is some dry air that could intrude on it early on. However, it's going to establish this moisture pocket around all this dry air, and it should not really have that much issue strengthening at all, primarily because it ha the dry air is not expected to get into the system, and there's very low wind shear to really stop anything from happening. But going back to wind shear, let's go ahead and show you this uh, 939 millibar system. Look at how much wind shear, little wind shear there is. This is a lot of this is inflow outflow, and there may be some shear up here to the north, but that's going to enhance the outflow right here. So this is a serious, serious situation that we have going on. And this is something I will continue to watch very closely. And also, the European ensembles are coming out, and they're also showing at least 40 different ensembles are calling for a hurricane, and at least 20 of them are calling for major hurricane strength by the time this approaches the Antilles. So here's where we are about five days out, just for context's sake, and we'll just play it from here. These ensembles continue to organize and develop, and now more ensembles are having this potentially enter the Caribbean Sea than before. This is where we're at right now. Now, this is about 198 hours at the 12Z. Here where we, here's where we were at at the 0Z. Boom. More, a lot of them going, the, the south, further south it was going, further south it was going was the Virgin Islands. Here's where we are at right now. Boom. More of them are entering the northwest uh, eastern Caribbean Sea. So this is something we need to absolutely monitor as time continues to progress. And look at how concentrated these ensembles are even nine days out. So this is something we all need to take very, very, very seriously, and I'll keep you updated. And then st uh, starting about here, the uh, European Ensemble does have this either hitting the Bahamas or staying out to sea after it impacts the Antilles. There is still a lot of uncertainty, especially after 10 days, so we'll have to keep a very close eye on it. But please keep in mind, a lot of this is, a lot of the impacts are about seven days out or so. So we still have a lot of uncertainties to pay, uh, even look at here, but we will st still keep an eye on it because a lot of the models are picking up on this and we need to pay attention to this. We're closing a video out right here. Be sure to subscribe and like the video if you want more updates. The goal of this channel is to get more people engaged with weather. But with that being said, have a wonderful day, guys. Stay safe.